Photoshop layer styles are a popular way to add effects such as drop shadows and strokes to layers in a non-destructive way. With the right knowledge and experience, any effect can be achieved. To achieve these effects, however, you need to understand what each setting does and how they can be combined to achieve a certain look. In this tutorial, created by John Shaver for Envato Tatspas, we'll explain the settings behind the outer glow and how it can be used. You can access the Outer Glow option by double-clicking the layer to open the Layer Style panel. The Blend Mode allows you to set the blending mode for your Outer Glow. If you are looking to create a glowing effect, Linear Dodge or Screen are good modes to use. If you want to create an Outer Shadow Tap effect, Linear Burn or Multiply work well. And if you're trying to create an Outer Stroke, which we'll get into in more detail later, then Normal is fine. The Opacity slider allows you to specify how transparent your outer glow will be. A setting of 0% is completely see-through, while 100% is completely opaque. Increasing the noise slider will add a bit of noise to your outer glow, allowing you to create a type of glowing dust effect. When the corresponding radio button is selected, the color block allows us to change the color of the outer glow, while the same goes for the gradient radio button. With gradient selected, you are not limited to a single color, which can help you create very intricate and abstract glowing effect. The Technique drop-down box gives us two different options for rendering our outer glow, softer and precise. Softer gives an, an outer glow that is more organic and natural looking, while precise fits the shape of the glow tighter to the original shape of the layer. The spread slider changes the fall-off of the outer glow in a linear fashion, or in other words, how gradually it fades out at the edges. For a typical outer glow, you will normally want to leave this at 0%, but for more intense glows you should increase it, and for outer strokes with hard edges you can set it all the way to 100%. The size slider is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to increase the size of the outer glow in one pixel increments. The higher the size value is, the bigger the outer glow becomes. The contour shapes allows you to change the fall-off of the outer glow in a non-linear fashion. By choosing different curve profiles, you can get the glow to fade out in different ways. This is really useful when you are trying to achieve special glow or abstract effects. In addition, the anti-alias checkbox allows you to improve the quality of the shadow with a very slight drop in performance. The performance hit is negligible, so we recommend always keeping the box checked. Adjusting the range is similar to changing the spread. It allows you to control the fall-off of your outer glow in almost the same way. A lower setting gives us a harder glow, while a higher setting gives us a softer one. While range is similar to spread, jitter is similar to noise. Noise creates transparency of adjacent pixels using a normal blend mode, while jitter adds noise by adjusting the lightness of adjacent pixels in a way that is similar to overlay. Jitter requires at least two color glow to give any visible results. You can save and load default settings for each effect in the Layer Styles dialog box. By clicking Make Default, Photoshop will store whatever settings are currently active as the new default settings for that effect. By clicking Reset to Default, Photoshop will then load whatever settings were last saved. This allows you to experiment and simply reload custom default settings if you want to start over. This was how to apply Outer Glow to Layer Styles in Photoshop, originally written by John Shaver, with a video created by Monika Zagrobelna. Thanks for watching!